Nebraska's U.S. Senate race is on between two small-town Nebraska natives. While Republican Ben Sass is comfortably leading the polls, Dave Domina is putting up a fight. The people of Nebraska can know who I am, why I'm running, and that I will do their work and nobody else's. But what do Democratic candidates have to do to win over a red state? Political science professor John Gruel says they have to seem attractive in the media. The Democrats have to have a very appealing candidate in order to attract Republican votes or else they lose. Although Domina is more conservative than a typical Democrat, while he strongly supports small business owners, Ben Sass is winning the popularity contest. Nebraska Senate candidate Ben Sass. Good morning to you. Ben Sass has had a lot of support from big time conservative media. So, how has this been affecting his campaign? An important issue in Sass's campaign is Obamacare. Sass says we need to fix it or else face dramatic changes. Yeah, I think Obamacare is fundamentally unsustainable. We need fundamental reform or we're going to drift toward a European style socialized health care system. Domina has come out strong on the issue of immigration. He believes we need to break the stereotypes so immigrants can have an easier path to citizenship. The stereotypical immigrant doesn't have a face. Immigrants come in all sizes, all shapes, all colors, from all kinds of backgrounds. At the end of the day, this race comes down to a legal attorney experience in small businesses versus a popular Republican familiar with Washington. For Star City News, I'm Madeline Clough reporting.